Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Candice and this is Everything Beauty with Candice B. So it's the morning time and I am getting ready to go through my morning skincare routine and I figured I would take you guys with me. Over the last year, my skin has cleared up so much using a simple and easy skincare routine. I'm still dealing with some hyperpigmentation, so I have a few products that can treat that. But as you can see, my skin doesn't have any active breakouts right now, and it's been that way for a while, so I'm so excited to be able to show you guys what I've done to get to this point. I still have a little ways to go before I get like completely clear with no hyperpigmentation, but this is what I'm doing right now. So if you wanna see what I use, stay tuned. So the first step in my skincare routine is to use a cleanser. So today I'm using the Ole Herrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. It has orange fruit water and PHA in it, so it has vitamin C and it's used to combat hyperpigmentation. It smells really good and it doesn't lather up too much. When I'm cleansing my face, I like to make sure that I'm at least cleansing my face for 60 seconds or more, maybe not more than two minutes, but that just really gives the cleanser a chance to work into your skin and do its job. So I just keep using circular motions all over my face. I add a little bit more water if I need to, I lather it back up because I feel it's kind of drying up a little bit. Just add a little bit more water to make my face a little sudsy. Also, don't forget under your chin and your neck because that is a part of your face. And I do have hyperpigmentation under here too. So I'm trying to make sure I'm all clear. <laughs> now time to rinse. Now once my face has been washed and dried, it's time to move into toner. So I am using the Fresh Rose Hydration Facial Toner. I just squeeze a few drops onto a cotton pad and swipe it all over my face. I'm just making sure that this toner gets all over my face in an even layer. I like using this one in the morning because it's so gentle and it doesn't sting. Like if I ever get a pimple or anything, if I rub this on top of that pimple, it doesn't sting, which I really like. And it smells really good. It smells just like roses. If the cotton pad isn't clean once I wipe my face, I'll go in with another one and just keep going until the cotton pad stays clean when you wipe your face. That way, you know all of the dirt has been removed from your face. It shouldn't be too much. I think I tend to use more cotton pads at nighttime because I'm taking off makeup and there's still traces of makeup on my face that I don't tend to see. So the toner, it'd be telling on them. So I like to use toner and make sure that I am getting my face all clean and ready for the next step in my routine. After toner, I use a serum. So sticking with the whole vitamin C thing, I am using the Tula Skin Care Brightening Treatment Drops. So it is a vitamin C serum that I tend to use only in the morning times. Vitamin C, I think I've already said it, it treats hyperpigmentation. So I'm, I'm going to battle right now and I'm trying to make sure that I am fighting this hyperpigmentation so that I can even out my skin tone. I like the bottle because it's a dropper, so you just push the button and it pulls the serum into the dropper and you can just put it in your hand and put it all over your face. So I like to make sure that it's spread it all over my face in an even layer and I let it all sink in. So once my face feels like it's almost dry, then I'll move into my next step, which is eye cream. So if y'all been watching my channel, y'all already know what eye cream I'm gonna say and it is the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. Y'all know I go hard for her. I don't really use another one. If y'all have any other recommendations, put it in the comments down below and let me know because the Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment, she got a hold on me. I don't know, y'all. So all I do is use my ring finger. I dip my finger in just once and, I, and that's enough for both eyes. So when I'm putting on this eye cream, I like to tap it on my under eyes on both and then try to blend it in, or not try, but I do. Then blend it in and I just make sure I tap and get all under my under eyes. I make sure I get that crow's feet area. And I take a little bit on my lids too because that's part of the eye. And I want my entire eye to be moisturized. I'll do the same on this side. 
And I like this stuff because it's very thick. I like to let it sit on my eye a little bit and sink in to just really moisturize my eyes. Okay, I said this was simple and easy, so I have two more steps in the routine and then we are done. So now it is time to moisturize my entire face. So today I'm using the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Y'all, I just got into this one and it is so good. It smells so good. It feels really gentle. It doesn't break me out and it's so moisturizing. So all I do is stick my finger in there and dip a little bit out and you only need a little bit and just, you know, moisturize your face. So I make sure it's spread it all over my face in an even layer and rub it in really good just to give my skin that moisture. And my moisturizer is all rubbed in and I kind of lied to y'all. I said I only have one more step after this, but I have two because I forgot about my lips. So for my lips, I like to put on some lip balm. So I'm using the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Balm. And I just put this on to moisturize my lips. I usually wear liquid lipstick, which is very drying. So I like to moisturize them and leave it on while I'm putting on my makeup. And then once I'm ready to put on my lipstick, then I take it off. And now for real, the last step in my skincare routine is to put on SPF. Y'all, black women, we need SPF. Don't go out there believing that our skin has all of this SPF built into it already. It does, but then you still need some SPF, especially if you suffer from hyperpigmentation. I had to learn that the hard way. Wearing SPF helps your hyperpigmentation not to get so dark because the SPF is protecting your skin from the sun. So for SPF, I am using the Neutrogena Clear Face SPF 50. I like this one because it gets a little white. I know, you know, people talk about that white cast on black skin, but I feel like I need it because I want to be able to see if I've missed an area or not. And if you keep rubbing, it rubs in so good. So you don't even really have to worry about the white cast stain. But if you don't like white cast, then I also recommend the Black Girl Sunscreen. You can get that at Target for $15. When I'm using sunscreen, I use two pea size amounts just to make sure I have enough to cover my face. Don't be skimpy when it comes to the SPF because you need it. Also, don't forget your neck and your chin. All right, y'all, so that is it. Thank y'all so much for watching my morning skincare routine. If you have any questions about what I've used, let me know down in the comments below. What is your morning skincare routine? I wanna know, so let me know down in the comments. Let's talk about it. If y'all have any other suggestions for me to help clear up some of this hyperpigmentation, let me know, let your girl know. Also, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. This is the kind of content I'm bringing you every single week on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit those notification bells so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.